Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Senshi 19 from the Palace of Culture and Sport in Varna, Bulgaria. And tonight we have 13 world-class fights for you. A super stacked and action-packed fight card, as usual, on Senshi. We go back to the traditions of real martial arts, the Budo ethic, respect, humbleness in victory, and honor in defeat. And this really is a special promotion. It's a celebration of combat sports, martial arts, and how sport can bring people together and cross the boundaries of culture, religion, financial background. And once they are inside that senshi ring, it's man against man. There is no difference. And it is simply fantastic. I'm joined by an absolute K1 and kickboxing legend, Andy the power sour hey my great friend i'm really happy to sit next down to you again and uh, oh, do some commentating of wow. this already attractive fight yep this is a rematch and our last outing nakari won and uh uh Asain chadid is here to get revenge and we have to say the weigh-ins yesterday and the face-offs there was some real intensity yeah, and I, I just wanted to say to you, you know, this is a rematch, and it, it, the event starts with the rematch. So the, I, I'm expecting a lot of a lot of fireworks. Yeah, uh, both guys, you know, I like them. They prefer to do, make pressure. Our Italian Nakari is uh, a little bit holding back, and as we know, Isam is the one who wants to take the lead in in overall, and. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking that, that this is going to be so spectacular eventually, and it starts already, as you can see. Well, well, you can notice, Andy, Just these are 70 kilo fighters. Just for the viewers at home, this is a full, con essentially full contact, which is K1 rules, so there's no clinch here. Um, but the power that from a 70 kilo guys, it looks like a tentative start, but everything they're throwing has got mean intentions. Exactly. There's a lot of volume, as you can see. As <coughs> Assam was was uh, giving a boxing combination of a five-six combo, punch, hand hand combo. So you can see there's speed, but there's also some power nowadays. So yeah. And coming in with a loss to your opponent in a rematch, you know, you, you can come in very very determined, and you've been thinking about this for months months since the last fight. But do you think psychologically you've got a disadvantage? No, not in my opinion. If the hunger is b b big enough and if the loss uh, gives you so much depression in that case, I, w I would say that he, 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 he's going to perform better than ever, I think. These are heavy shots. There were some great kicks there from both guys. And uh, so far, it's looked good. Chadid working the body as well of Nakari. So like you say, you know, you come in, it, it, it's not a disadvantage, but it depends, I suppose, on how you lost. Did you gas? Did you allow your opponent to take control? Um, so did you lose the fight or did you allow yourself to lose? Exactly. So now you can see Nagari is a bit afraid to get hit, so he comes in to step in with the hat, hat forward with a double defense. So yeah, he's trying or to close the distance or just to avoid the big punches of uh, Shai, Shadid. And Shadid setting up. He's throwing some light punches to the gut. Oh, that was a lovely yeah. hook there. High kick there from Shadid. So far, what I've seen is Nagari is the guy who is trying to combine the, the hands and the kicks. Uh, and especially Sh Shadid is now only boxing so far. So it's, he's not combining it so far, but yeah, hopefully he's going to end up with kicks. So it shows like it, it's a showcase of kickboxing, in my opinion. Time. OK, yeah. first round. And there we go again. I'm sitting next to you. Your <laughs> opinion, please. You know I always give a judgment on my scorecard at the end of each round. Okay. And, man, that was a difficult one to score. It's exactly as you said. Yeah. Shadid was boxing and Nakari was kickboxing. Yeah. So how would the judges look at it? And I think the power shots were landed by Shadid. Yeah. So... I agree, I agree. I also think that Shadid was a little bit more busy, the one who's taking the lead. Uh, the, the, the most pressure came from him. Um, so I would, uh, if, you, if you're asking me. It's K1 rules, so the K1 scoring, not Muay Thai, so the kicks may not be 
a preferential scoring for, uh, in the in judges' overall. eyes. Yeah. Um, You're right. Aggression. Both guys were coming forward. Both guys were were pressuring their opponents and countering. I'm going to give it 10-9 to Shadid on that on that first round. Let's see. Mainly in the second round, people get loose, get rid of the density, and they are free to go. So let's see what it brings. Lovely checks there. Oh, body right. kick. It's that true momentum. From Nakari. And yet that first round is where you find your range. Yep. Um, so your range, but also the rhythm of your opponent. And as we just said, Shadid is only boxing. He mm. comes in with hat, body, body, hat combos. I, I really love it. But I would prefer to see that he would end up with a kick or in between to make a kick. Well, hey. that, that poetry in motion, as yeah. I describe it, you're the Dutch style of kickboxing where you throw a combination, always finish with that kick. Yeah. Um, it, it really is something beautiful to watch. Mm -hmm. So she did could recover a bit of a kick in a kick in his groin, and now he is kickboxing. He's firing up. He's firing up. Now, how are the judges going to look at that? Shadi there threw a combination, yeah. five or six punches, but most of them um, landed on the gloves. Yeah, but if Nakari would wouldn't go back and hit him clean, uh, then then I okay, there it comes. So far, guys, I can't commentate now because there is some firework happening here. <laughs> yep, yeah, Nakari upping the pressure, yeah. uh, upping the pace. No, no, I think, you know, in, in overall, in the end of the round, you would say, nah, if, if this should have happened all the time, then Shadid would take the advantage of the round, even though it was on the defense, like he does now. So he's just, Nakari is just defending. Standing still, in balance, he's not going to get hit, and he's aiming for the counter-attacks. But yeah, still, I think uh, Shadid is taking the lead again. So. I'm just wondering if, if your opponent is predominantly boxing, is he leaving himself open to low kicks? He must be putting that weight on the front foot yeah. when he steps in to punch. Yeah. But as you said, it's all about timing, isn't it? Also, but it, as, as we can see, uh, Nakari is a bit afraid to get hit, so he's really stiff when he's blocking and he's defending. Now he finally um, gets the gets the feeling to end up with with a kick, Shadid. Uh, but so far, you see Nakari is he's defending, but he's pretty stiff on the legs. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. He's stiff on the legs. He wants to counter, but he can't somehow. <coughs> There's a slight hesitation, maybe exactly. as, as you said, <coughs> he's worried about getting hit or. I mean, that's something that a fighter, if he's been sparring collect correctly and prepared for this, and at this level especially, it's something you, you're, um, you can't be tentative about. Yeah. And, uh, and often, you know, it, a great fighter will take four shots to land a big bomb of his own. Um, I, I wouldn't advise blocking punches with your chin, but, you know, if you've got great defense, allow your, your, your other guy to open himself up and leave himself open for that shot. Exactly. He's taking the low kicks, uh, eventually he takes the low kicks with him in his combination. So I'm happy to see that for him. And what I'm expecting is that Nakari would come back really strong in the third. I think it's necessary also to at least uh, lead him to and to and draw or to the victory maybe. Over, over. Well, at the end of that second round, at the end of that second round, uh, I'm going to give it once again. The, the main work, the busyness came from Shadid. Yeah. Um, and I said earlier, you know, is he the one who's going to be on the back foot because he lost the, the previous fight? But as you said, this is going to make him more hungry. Yeah. So as an, in a, as an old fighter, in his perspective of fighter, it's, yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's it's so negative when you when you lose the world. You're gonna lose the world. You're gonna lose your own fate in everything. You know, it's so crazy. You think about it for months afterwards. Yeah, yeah. when you come back, you know, you want to come back as strong as possible. And again, he's taking the lead. But like I said, Nakari has to come right now. So 
And now he's pressuring her a lot. Shady still finding his way. Shadeen working the body as well. Wow. Kicks and punches to the midsection. He is, he's in control. He is in control, Oop. Grant. Looked like a head came in there, but didn't, didn't make contact. You can see Shadid, uh, he already made a couple times, he made a push kick, a front kick. It's not a regular one, it's, the, it's, it's, it's a kick who is uh, pointing, is, who try, he's trying to reach out for the liver. So it's a more an inside McGee uh, push kick. Uh, this one that was in the, in the midsection. But I saw him already doing it a couple times, making the push kick uh, against the liver, to the liver. Uh-huh, just on that left, left hand, uh, right hand side, sorry. Yeah. Exactly, from the right to the left. So just to get some stamina out of uh, out of uh, Shadid. Little to slow in him down, inside kick there, just throws his opponent off balance. Close combat now. Oh, Whoop, there's one in the crown jewels. We heard <laughs> the groin protector yep. get knocked there, and I shouldn't laugh. Um, Time stop. But this is a this here is a factor. If you're tired, it's the third round, and you get a little knock downstairs, you're tempted to use it as a rest period as well. He yeah. hasn't done that. No, That's no, good no. tactics, yeah. because your opponent is resting as well. Yeah. I can tell you, when I, when I felt in the past, when I felt that it, my, my, my opponent was getting into his rhythm, he became stronger, faster, you know, and there was a little moment I could take to take a rest. For example, that I got kicked or punched in the, in the groin, mm. I would take advantage of that 100%. Yeah. And the referee oh, needs to be on top of that as well. Hard. Yeah, also. And the guy is coming still, back. They're very busy. This is a great opening yeah. to Century 19. That was a shots. lovely right punch there. Big shots, big shots from Nakari. And Nakari is coming back in the yep. later stages of this final round. There nice uppercut. Body and shot. And is, again. He's waving also, you know. So he comes back. The trade punches. The hunger of winning. Yeah, Nakari oh, coming I think he's forward. Hurt. I think Shadid is a little bit hurt on his body. So there was two kicks there. That, that second kick, you yeah. could hear it, and that was it in that, as you said, at that floating rib, that liver shot. Mm -hmm. wow. And there he comes again. And full credit to the condition of these two guys. 100%. This is speed, this is stamina. There's a lot of mentality in this fight. Ooh. Oh, he was very tempted there to clinch Ooh, exactly. and throw a knee. Last 10 seconds. What's wrong? Just a little adjustment there, the gun oh, shield. She did, he has to go back to the neutral corner. Well, seven seconds left of the third and final round. And Shadid looks a little bit tired there in the corner. Yeah. But Nakari, has he left it too late? A couple of seconds left to land a big bomb. He's not going to do it. And we go yeah. to the judges for our first fight of the evening. A rematch. And man up. Beautiful work. Beautiful well, kickboxing. So three rounds of action. We're going to go to the judges' scorecards. And I'm going to get. What an exciting fight, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to introduce you guys to Grant Waterman here, our official online live streaming host. If I'm not talking so much in between the rounds here, then this is because we have a live oh, yeah. streaming show going on at the same time. Please, for the first fight, a uh, special award, I'd like to invite you to get to the off the stage. And just while Yuzi's coming in, uh, Andy, I'm going to say that I'm going to give that final round yep. to Nakari. Two rounds to one in my book to Shadid. But let's see what the judges have got yep. to say. I agree this time. I am agreeing with you. And Shadid uh, is going to be over the moon. So all the fans around the world who are watching, I think you have a great, spectacular first fight of this evening. So the Saturday evening is an awesome start of seeing the martial arts at Senchigala Vanna.
there's quite a bit of tension here as we wait I think for the, the judges', judges scorecards. Needs, yeah, they have. They've had a little bit of training, I think, in, in creating some drama. <laughs> yeah. But here we go. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the official scorecard. Judge number one. 27 to 30 in favor of the red corner. Judge two, 29 and 28 in favor of the blue corner. Okay. Judge three, 29 to 29. We have an extra round. Wow. Well, yep. well, well. Grant, you know what it is? I think the first round is always equal to score. It's difficult to score for a judge, you know, when it's a little bit equal or just a little a little advantage from yep. one side, then you you, you 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 can write a score down who is equal to each other, so a little draw. Maybe the first round was a draw, the second for Shadid, and this last one. Well, let's look at it. Let's look at this. It was a rematch. We have to make sure who won it. Did somebody win it by half a point? A point nah. here on one judge's scorecards. So, listen, every time we have a great fight and there's a fourth round, the fans get something extra. Extra. So we shouldn't complain about it. Yeah. And it was a close fight. And at the end of it, Nakari was making a huge comeback. So this fourth round is going to be judged on its own, mm -hmm. on its own merits. Both fighters still full of energy, full of determination. And this is going to decide who is the better man on the night. So like you said, you said it's zero zero again, folks. The kickoff from both of the fighters slowing down again. Just to feel the rhythm, the d distance, the range, and again we have Shadid who opens his long combination with hands. Oh, that was a, a big lovely left shot hook. from Nakari. Those combinations from Shadid. So I, I would, sorry, uh, yeah, go on. sorry, Grant, but if I would na be Nakari, oh, it was a little slip. Um, if I would Nakari and there is a combo like uh, Shadi did, you know, I would lovely to interfere that combo because there were pretty uh, straight punches to interfere. Upset his rhythm. Yeah, exactly. But eventually Nakari didn't. So I think there were some opportunities for him like he does now. Now he does it. Interfering with a, with, with a low kick. And I don't think that, um, Shadid's power, um, no. uh, although, although, although looking at yeah. Nakari's face, it, it's marked up. Pretty damage. Um, so that, that's Mark an accumulation. That's an accumulation of damage. Yeah. But Nakari. He's running forward. He is the, he's the more powerful of both guys and True. throwing some nice knees there. Now, was that a low blow? I, I couldn't see. Probably the judges did. Well, just having the blood wiped off the face of Nakari there. He looks, and the judges can be influenced by that because damage is a factor. Shadid waiting in that neutral corner. Oh, there's the oh, big right shot from Nakari. He, could, he recovered somehow. Go wild. Both are going wild. This is a real tear up now. This is what the fans want to see. We're halfway through this fourth and final round. This is where we say who wants it badly? Who wants it more? One minute left, one minute to go. So, wow. If this is going to stay like this for a minute, punches. Wow. From Nakari there. Nakari, oh. it's taken him four rounds to really switch on. That He's wasn't hurt. a low blow. That was a, a, a knee. That wasn't a knockdown. He was off balance there, was uh, Shadid. And Nakari really has up the tempo now. And he smells victory, I'm sure. It's, it's, uh, he has to watch out for the headbutts, to be honest. But Somehow he's, he's trying to steal the, the whole fight. Nice the kick there from Nakari. But he can't switch off. Well, we're coming up to 10 seconds left. 
He's still got the power to do something. There, another nice left hook. They know there's a few seconds left. What a way to open the evening. And that third, fourth and final round was absolutely fantastic. Shadid with the majority of the work, but Nakari with the power shots. Yeah. You want to hear it? Uh, <laughs> yes, I want to hear it. I want to hear it, but there's so well, many doubts in my, in my brain going man. on now. Okay, I'm but gonna please. Lay on the line. I'm going to lay on the line, and I have to say, Nakari there, he came back. Um, Strong. <laughs> very, very strong, and I'm going to give it to him, that fourth and final round. The power shots were from him. He landed those left yep. hooks, some kicks to the liver, and a few knees, although one of them did appear to be slightly low, possibly. Now, he looked more damaged, and the judges That's could see that thing. damage yep. as, uh, as aggression and point scoring. But I feel that that fourth and final round went to the Italian. So there is some, there are some talks at the judges. A difficult one to score, I think. Well, it could go either way. Yeah. Fighters, please come to the center of the ring. We have a unanimous decision for the winner. In the blue corner, yeah. Ivan yeah. Brian, you're right. And I have to say that Shadid did himself proud. Yeah. Um, you, yeah, that's true. I've said it time and time again. If you lose an absolute war, you'll be remembered. If you win a, a fight that was a mismatch and you, and you just dominate your opponent who was not in your class, yeah. that isn't a real win. But that fight tonight, both these guys should leave the arena holding their heads high. To open Century 19 like that is absolutely glorious. What a celebration of kickboxing and martial arts. So, as the Italian, even Nakari holds his trophy high there, Andy Sauer leaves us. He will be refereeing our next match. What a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Kickboxing at its finest. Both guys highly conditioned. Their preparation was brilliant for this event. And it should be. Senshi becoming one of the best kickboxing combat sports events in Europe. And we're still young, only 19 events under our belt and we're continuing our journey to greatness. We want to build superstars here. We want to create and discover fighters, true martial artists who can be role models for the upcoming generation of potential fighters, martial artists and fans. Sportsmanship, humbleness in victory, honor in defeat, and this is what we have right here.